All right, welcome to In My Mailbox and Mailbox Monday for October 17th. Um, I got eight books this, wi this week. Uh, three of them were from NetGalley, and they're not coming out for a long time, so I had trouble finding um, the pictures of them to print off or anything like that. Uh, and those three were uh, Candle Wax by C. Bailey Sims. This sounds like kind of a um, young adult or middle grade epic fantasy. It says uh, fans of Christopher Paulini's books and of uh, Kristen... I just forgot to name Crash and the, the lady who wrote Graceline and Fire. Um, fans of those books should really like this book. It's called Candle Wax. It comes out in April 2012. Um, I do have a picture below, so you can click on that if you want inf more information from Goodreads. Um, the second Nat Galley book was Fractured Light by Rachel McCullen. Um, this is a, a February 2012 release, and it's about a girl who can use light as a weapon, and she's fleeing some guardians. And it sounds like kind of a neat fantasy novel. Um, I went ahead and got it just because it looked neat and it's net galley, so I'll try to get around to reading it and see how I like it. Um, the last one I got from net galley was A Clockwork Christmas, and I just had to get that because it's like a steampunk cl collection of steampunk stories and it's Christmas. So that'll be fun to read around Christmas. I don't know. It just sounded kind of cool. So you can check that one out. That one comes in December. And then I have some I can actually show you here. Um, I got three from Paperback Swap this week, and I ended up buying two at Half Price Books. Um, the first I got from Paper Swift is The Grand Ellipse by Paula Volsky. I'm not even really sure what this is about. It's an epic fantasy of some sort. Looks like it might have a little bit of a steampunk theme to it. Um, but I love Paula Volsky, and I've been reading her for a long, long time. And this is an older book, uh, but it's the only one that she... It came out in 2000, but it's the only one she's written that I haven't read. Um, if you've never read her, you should at least try and read Illusion by Paula Wilski. That is just an excellent fantasy. It's got a lot of adventure, a little romance, some intrigue, court type stuff. Very good book. Um, she also wrote The Wolf of Winter, The Gates of Twilight, and The White Tribunal. So, got that to read. I'm very excited about it. Then I got two books that I've been meaning to read for a while, but I haven't got around to it. Um, people probably know Kim Harrison. Of course, she wrote The Hollows Urban Fantasy series which I love, and uh, she also wrote a couple fantasy novels under the um, pen name Don Cook. The first of these is The Decoy Princess, and so I got that one to read. It's supposed to be a pretty good fantasy book. And then the second in that series, and final as far as I know, is Princess at Sea. So I'm excited to read those, and I'm interested to see what she writes for fantasy. And then I got two half price books. I wasn't going to buy any more books, but... I saw these at Half Price Books, and Half Price Books has a deal going on for October. Every Friday in October, you get 20% off a of paranormal or horror. So, um, I saw this on the shelf, and I've been wanting to read this for a long time. Grave Witch by Kalena Price. I hope I said that right, Kalena Price. And, you know, it's about a private investigator that is a witch, and... You know, she gets involved in some magic involving death and stuff like that. I don't really know much about it, but I've been wanting to read it. A lot of people have liked it. Sounds like a really good urban fantasy. Um, I'm going to add this to my pile of urban fantasies that I need to read along with a whole bunch of other ones. But uh, it ended up being like $2.50, so you can't really beat that. And the other one I got at um, Half Price Books was one that was back in the clearance area for some reason. And it's a young adult book I've been wanting to read called A Curse as Dark. A Curse Dark as Gold by Elizabeth C. Bunce. Um, this is a retelling of Rumpelstiltskin, and I love fairy tale retellings, and I've heard this is a really good one, so I'm excited to read that as well. So those are all the books I got this week. Um, not a ton, but more than enough. And I also made an announcement on my blog. I am starting a new job next week, and I'm not sure how time's going to work out for me, so we're going to have to see. Um, I know that it's going to take a lot more time in the beginning because I have a lot of training to do and stuff. And I work as a as a I have a degree, degree in chemical engineering, so I'll be working as a materials engineer and scientist over at 3M. So um, there's going to be a lot of training and a lot of extra time learning new technology and stuff like that. So it's probably going to cut into my blogging a little bit. Um, I'm not sure yet how that's going to work out, but I'll try to at least keep up with my mims and my um, you know, some of my other posting, but I may not be able to get as much reading done, so it probably won't be a book review every day like it has been. Anyways, I just thought I'd let you guys know that, and thanks for um, following, and thanks for listening to me chatter on here, and I hope you guys have a great week of reading. I'll talk to you later. Bye.